Happy Wednesday! Welcome to another day of learning. We are going to continue to learn about theme and trying to figure out what lesson or message a book is trying to teach us. This book is really fun and really cute, so I hope you enjoy it. This is called Spoon. It's by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Scott Magoon. This is Spoon's family. On Sundays, Spoon goes to visit his Aunt Silver. He has to be on his very best behavior there. She's very fancy and proper. Goodbye, Tony. Ta -ta. I like how he's wearing a little tie. At bedtime, Spoon likes to hear the story about his adventurous great-grandmother who fell in love with a dish and ran off to a distant land. Lately, though, Spoon had been feeling blue. What's wrong, asked his mother. You look a bit bent out of shape. Nothing, mumbled Spoon. It's just that, I don't know, all my friends have it so much better than me. Like Knife, Knife is so lucky. He gets to cut. He gets to spread. I never get to cut or spread. Yeah, knife is pretty spiffy that way, isn't he? Fork. Fork is so lucky. She gets to go practically everywhere. I bet she never goes stir crazy like I do. Fork does get out and make herself useful, doesn't she? And chopsticks, they are so lucky. Everyone thinks they're really cool and exotic. No one thinks I'm cool or exotic. Those chopsticks are something else, aren't they? So what do you think this book is about so far? Good readers pause after they've read a little bit and try to summarize the story. What's happened first? What's happened second? What's the problem? How's it going to get solved? Meanwhile, if only Spoon knew what his friends were saying at that very minute. Spoon is so lucky, said Knife. He's so fun and easygoing. Everyone's so serious with me. No one's ever allowed to be silly with me. Like they are with Spoon. <laughs> Spoon is so lucky, said Fork. He gets to measure stuff. No one ever does that with me. Spoon is so lucky, said Chopsticks. He can go places by himself. We could never function apart. That night, after bedtime stories, Spoon's mom turned off the light, tucked him in, and said, You know, Spoon, I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Your friends will never know the joy of diving headfirst into a bowl of ice cream. They'll never know what it feels like to clink against the side of a cereal bowl. Clink. They'll never be able to twirl around in a mug or relax in a hot cup of tea. Hi! Spoon hadn't thought of it that way before. He lay awake in bed for a long time. His mind was racing. He felt so alive. There was only one thing to do. I can't sleep. Come snuggle. Come spoon. And so he did. Y'all look at their pillows. They're sugar packets. That is silly Billy. Sweet dreams! So what do you think the theme of this story is? What is the message the author is trying to teach us? Your challenge for today is to send me what you think the lesson is. And remember, if you use the name of a character in your theme, that's not a theme. Okay, it's got to be something that can apply to us. So it wouldn't be, Spoon needs to listen to his parents. I can't apply to that to me. I can say, you need to listen to your parents. That could be a theme. But do you think that was the main message of this story? I don't. So send me what you think the theme is. I love you all. I miss you all. I'll see you at 1.30 for our ELA Power Hour. Bye.